Hello, I'm Cliff Smith and welcome to lesson 13 in my series of lessons on string bends. So today we're going to look at the unison bend. Unison bend is a very useful technique, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it. So for the first one we're going to take third finger, put it on the seventh fret of the G string, which is a D note. Now I'm going to add my second finger on the previous string and my first finger I'm going to put it on the next string, the B string, fifth fret. So I've got two, two notes here, third finger's on D the seventh fret of the G string and my first finger is on E on the fifth fret of the B string. I'm going to play both those notes at the same time so I'm going to pick two strings at once which is quite discordant but then using my second and third fingers I'm going to bend up that G string a tone. So what's, what's called a tone bend using the unison bend technique. What a unison means is we're ending up with two notes of the same name at the same pitch. So I've got E and when I bend the D up, the tone it becomes an E as well. So I've got two E's but they're not an octave apart, they are the same note played on two different strings. So it's called a unison. If I go slightly flat, you hear that's not in tune. It could be useful, it could be a good sound to make, but it's not in tune. So if I push it up a bit more, in tune if I keep going. Too far, that's sharp. Flat generally sounds better than sharp. But what we're aiming for is to get them in tune, that's the point of it, the unison, they should sound like the same note. Okay, so this is the shape we can use for unison bends on the B and G strings. If I move up one fret at a time, do a series of unison bends, it looks like this. Okay, so I'm always keeping my third finger two frets higher than my first finger. There's another shape we can use for unison bends. So the note we're going to bend this time is G, which is the eighth fret of the B string, third finger down. I'd use my second finger as well to help with that bend, a bit more strength, a bit more control. Now I'm going to add my first finger on A on the fifth fret of the E string. So I've got two notes down. First finger's on A on the fifth fret of the E string. Third fingers on G on the eighth fret of the B string. Play them together. Sounds like that. Now I'm going to push that third finger up a tone. And that G now becomes an A, which is a unison note to the note I've got my first finger on. So I've gone from G and A, which is a discord, up to two A's, which two A's are always going to sound good together. So you get the tension there and then the release when you get it up to pitch. Okay, so it's a bit more of a stretch this one. So you might find it a bit more difficult. Now if I do the same thing, I'm going to move that up one fret at a time. Okay, so that's the unison bend. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this free video. There is some tab for this lesson on my website and please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. Uh, there's some links to all of that stuff in the description of this video.